Thank you for joining and thank you for listening. My name is Nadia Tach, I'm health and life coach. Today's conversation is incredible. It's about celebrating small wins. Mm, you may ask, what exactly is that? Well, imagine you have a goal. If you have been on our Friends and Health Facebook page for a while, you I most likely know that you have a goal. Let's say you want to lose some weight. You want to lose 20 pounds or not connected to health, but still life is the array of goals. You want to make a certain amount of money. You're not there yet and you want to be there or you want to have better relationships or you have a particular goal. Maybe you want to run 10K or a marathon. Whatever your goal is, seems like it's our... Um, human nature that we are so consumed with reaching that goal that we want to be there so bad and we only then be happy if we get to that goal. Only then I will feel accomplished. Only then I can do things that I want. Only then I will feel um, self-love and I will feel like a fit, amazing person. So it seems like we are putting that time frame to feel, be, and do only after we reach that goal. So we're creating that gap between now and the future, and that gap is actually a magical gap of process. It's the journey that you're taking yourself from where you are now to where you want to be. You know, in one of our coaching years ago, I heard the expression chasing the carrot. <clears throat> so that carrot is the goal. And maybe we reach it, and then as soon as we reach it, there's something else. There's always not enough. We're always chasing a carrot. And it really becomes like a chase. We become so consumed with that future goal that we really forget to slow down and just enjoy the journey. Enjoy the ride. When I was a child, I was taking a train to see my grandma. The train was a day over the night. We had so much fun riding that overnight train. We would prepare for that train ride for two weeks thinking what we're going to do, what we're going to eat. We were so um, consumed with actually enjoying that ride to the destination that the destination became, okay, yeah, we're going there. <laughs> Not that important. It was the journey that was so exciting. So I'm inviting you to stop being consumed with the goal. And I'm inviting you to consider being consumed with the fun of your journey. It's, it's that journey. It's who you're becoming in the journey. That, that's the magic. And so let's see. Lost my track. <laughs> and that journey to make it fun, let's celebrate it. That's, I call it celebrating small wins. Let's say you have a goal of losing 20 pounds. Celebrate each pound lost. <clears throat> there was a story that I heard by Joel Austin. He was talking about a coach training his uh, future football player that uh, he needed to lose 10 pounds. The coach said, lose 10 pounds in this period of time, then we will talk. The player was so committed and consistent, he lost the 10 pounds. He came back to the coach and coach said, great. They celebrated, they had a little party. Then he said, now lose another 10 pounds in this period of time. Okay. He did the same thing. He lost 10 pounds. He came back to the coach and they celebrated. They had a party. Then coach said, you got to lose another 10 pounds. 
And then again, and again, 80 pounds were lost. And the football player said, well, coach, why didn't you say at the beginning that I had to lose just 80 pounds instead of 10, 10, 10, 10, 10? Coach said, well, if I had told you you had to lose 80 pounds, you wouldn't do it. And indeed, when we set a goal, it seems like a big goal, and it's almost like becoming an obstacle for us because it seems too good to be true. Instead, let's have that goal and really celebrate the small wins along the way. If you have a goal to lose 20 pounds and you lost that one pound, celebrate it. Let's say if you have a goal to run 10K and you're starting your training today. Or you have goals and you have the consistency what you got to do to run that 10K in September. Every time you go out and do your run, your walk, your training, celebrate. It's the step toward your goal that you got to celebrate. It's fun. Celebration brings you fun. It brings you enjoyment. It actually brings you to be a fun person. You're a fun person to be with and celebrate along the way. It also brings the positive attitude. It brings encouragement. And it just motivates you to keep going, isn't it? So I'm curious. From what I have shared so far, what is your goal and how will you be able to celebrate? What are your small wins and how will you celebrate your small wins? With my run training, every time I go out and I train, my small win is just to be with people and talk to them. It doesn't have to be out loud. It doesn't have to be in the public. Whatever it is where you can mindfully acknowledge yourself this is the small win and I'm celebrating it so what is your goal what are your wins what other ideas you can celebrate small wins also in noticing what's going well <clears throat> I briefly touched it a few seconds ago it's it doesn't have to be big and huge let's say that you go on you do your own training and it's hard to breathe but always put but to change your negative thinking to positive thinking but at least you went for the run most people don't they sit on the sofa eat chips and watch TV <laughs> I got a little sick last week and I didn't do my half marathon on Sunday, but I stayed home. I slept for 18 hours and I ate healthy and I ate a lot of supplements and I feel so much better today. How about life is too busy and you just don't have time to even take care of yourself and stop and celebrate but if you're watching this video you are giving yourself time to take care of yourself that's a small win that's a celebration that is worth acknowledging that is worth mentioning to yourself thank you so start building your celebration muscle I like this term, your celebration muscle. How about if you don't even know where to start and it seems like, uh, what? <laughs> what do I do? Maybe you can take on my trick. I reflect my day every evening before I go to bed with my I'm thankful for today. I write on a piece of paper what I'm thankful for today that happened, what was good. I can always find what wasn't good. So what's the point? The point is finding what was good and acknowledge that. And it's a little celebration for me. I celebrate that just with me writing it on a piece of paper what went well today according to what I want. <clears throat> 
And you know, when I do that, I notice that I fall asleep faster, I sleep better, and I have better dreams. Why not that, huh? So I'm inviting you, starting right now, today, right this moment, what can you acknowledge yourself for? You have a goal. You're reaching that goal. Slowly, study with persistence, with accountability, being active in our group, communicating. What can you acknowledge yourself for right now, this moment? Write in the comment. Let us know. We want to acknowledge you for that too. So I'm inviting you to create your own system of celebration. Maybe even write it down. So if you have a goal of losing weight or you have a goal of running 10K or you have a goal of earning 10K, whatever goal you have, maybe you even have a vision board where that goal is already in pictures and words and it's all there. <clears throat> and maybe you even have a plan how to reach it. That plan, use it as a basis of your celebrations. So how are you going to celebrate? What are you going to celebrate? How many pounds lost are you going to celebrate in what way? Doesn't have to be anything big. It can be just acknowledge it inside yourself. I did good. Or you can write yourself a letter. Or you can have a great meal. Be careful. <laughs> or you can call a friend. Or you can post on our Facebook group. What are the ways you can celebrate? I'm curious. So celebrating small wins along your journey is such a crucial aspect. It's not the result that is important. It's great you will be there, but it's <coughs> here you go. But it's your journey. It's who you are becoming in your journey. And celebrations will bring your journey to be fun, to be enjoyable, and it will encourage you to uh, be motivated to stay on your track and to keep going. And the law of attraction say that if you do that, when you do that, you will attract people who are that. And that will be a community. Isn't that amazing? All right, so celebrating small wins is very important. And I am curious before you go, write down what is your goal? What are your celebrations? And maybe what is your insight of uh, this conversation about the small wins? <clears throat> write down in the comments. And to add our conversation, of course, I would like to invite you to. I know some of you are not listening live because you're full time, you're working and you listen in the evening, great. Some of you have expressed that you would love to participate, but you're not that often visitor of the Facebook. Please, for any means, join my YouTube channel, The Natural Power 100. Every live stream that is a good quality stream without technical issues or difficulties, I upload on my YouTube channel. And usually if you signed up for the updates, you receive those updates in the weekly emails. The Natural Power 100 YouTube channel. This video will be there this morning, uh, today. And <clears throat> as well, I mentioned 10K run at this conversation. So if running is on the back of your mind, maybe this will be a great idea. Some of you have already signed up this morning. I know that for the Plano Balloon Festival. It is a local in Plano, Texas run. But the fun aspect here that all family members can participate from one mile run to 5K, 10K, and half marathon. Some of you signed up for 10K. It's on Sunday. 
half marathon is on Sunday as well. Saturday has one mile and 5K. <clears throat> so let's do it as friends and health group. That will be fun. If you want more information, let us know. We maybe will post it on our group as well. Playing a balloon festival, but you can Google it right now. They actually have discounted prices because it's early bird prices. And this will be a great opportunity to set the goal and celebrate small wins along the way. All right. Well, thank you so much for listening. I'm curious to know what was your inside of this conversation, what's your goal, and what your small celebrations can be, and how you're going to celebrate them. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy who you're becoming in this train of fun ride towards your goal. And see you in the community.